Hi everyone, today we're back renovating an abandoned ranch. We've been hard at work the last week here at the property. We've made a lot of progress and I'm currently heading over there to meet a few new contractors. But today guys, I do have several things we need to get done. I've had to organize some equipment rentals for today's projects, which I am super excited for. Now guys, there is a full mods list link down below if you guys want to check it out and hit that like button. It is much appreciated. Just getting over to the ranch and as you guys can see there's several things uh, that look a little bit different down here at the two buildings. But guys what we're going to be focusing on today is the outside since we've made so much progress inside here. I really want to get the grass cut, uh, kind of uh, get all the brush cut and work on the pond as well. That way we could get that uh, starting to fill back up with water. Let's first take a look at the ranch house here, then we'll check out the detached garage. So on this guys, we did get all new wood on the front porch here. We put in new steps, all new uh, wood planks here really looks awesome. I decided to go with a nice pine look here. Now the masons were hard at work, they put all new stone all the way around the property here. It really looks awesome and it definitely modernizes it quite a bit here. Now going inside we got a brand new front door, brand new flooring. I mean that looks awesome here. New kitchen flooring and you guys can see there is no longer any holes in the drywall. Yes I said that they've been hard at work repairing all of them and now we are ready for paint here which is great. And upstairs here we did get new flooring here which is awesome as well. So coming up guys, we have to focus on the kitchen and the bathrooms here. So we're, we'll be painting the cabinets, we're going to be getting some new appliances, some new countertops, and that is almost a near completion, but let's go check out the garage. The contractors are still working on it here, but I do want to give you guys a big update, and that is we put a new roof on this here. It was rusted, uh, and the rust was starting to make some holes in it with the erosion here, so we got an all new roof here on it. Now, we did end up painting the siding, which looks awesome here. I wanted to go with red to kind of match it here. We got some new uh, doors as well. A few of them were just broken. Different panels were dented and damaged. And as we head on inside, you guys can see we actually refinished, repolished the concrete flooring here, cleaned up uh, some of the oil uh, spills in it. So, I mean, this, guys, I mean, this right here is completely done other than maybe just painting the uh, new car lift. We have made a lot, a lot of progress. This has cost us a lot of money. Hopefully, we'll be able to break even here and actually make some money on the project or Hint, hint, we might end up keeping this here to start a new ranch series. But like I mentioned guys, I want to get going here right away on the outside. So I want to start to mow the entire property. But before we do that, uh, we actually will be using the, the uh, Kawasaki UTV with this uh, older trailer that I borrowed from one of the farmers here. We're going to pick up quite a few logs that are scattered around the property. A renovation project like this, guys, is a lot of work. There's a lot of moving pieces here to it being five acres. Uh, there is so many different things here. Now, a few things that I did not actually touch upon was the well and also the electricity here. So we got a brand new well, which costs quite a bit of money. That way, uh, we could get new water here. It looked like the well broke recently when we started to test the faucet. So we're all good there. Oh, we are going to fill up this trailer, but we'll just make a pile of wood. Maybe I'll list, uh, put it on Marketplace, free wood, and maybe someone will pick this up to, uh, as, uh, to split into firewood for next season here. But this small trailer, guys, is uh, going to work out here for us. But I've been really enjoying this project. These renovations are so cool, including the before and afters on these. I mean, it's going to look awesome when we're done. If you do want to see behind the scenes of this project, you can go check it out over on Instagram since I do post quite a few pictures over there and pretty cool updates about the channel here. Now, we are going to be filling up this trailer quite a bit here, but I think we should be able to probably fit a full another tree here on and we'll just load it up almost uh, to the max. That way, uh, we can just keep on going here. This is a little too long. 
We'll put a few tie down straps here on it so we don't end up losing it here. Now, I do know that there is one tree over here. Now, one thing about that excavator, guys, I actually had one of my buddies who's a mechanic come on by and he was able to get it up and running. So, we'll be using that today to work on the pond. That is awesome here. It took him quite a bit of time uh, to go through the fuel lines, to go through the engine, to make sure that it can function without damaging the engine or anything like that. Looking around, we should be all set here with trees, which is awesome, uh, since there were a few trees that fell over the last few years. But what I was just thinking, guys, before we end up uh, mowing this, I think it would be easier if we actually get that excavator up and running, moving it here. That way, instead of mowing around, and we can mow all the brush that has grown and uh, just look, make it look nice and clean here. But we'll also dig the pond right now, since there's not that much to dig. This old cap fires up no problem, which is so exciting. And the hydraulics are, qu are quite surprisingly working well, which is great here for us. Looks like the tracks do power. With this pond, guys, I do want to do a little bit of work here to it. I want to get all the brush cleaned out of it here and get it ready to hold some water. Now, I did have someone that builds ponds actually come on out here and look at it. He said, once I get this cleaned up, it will start to hold water again here and we should be all set here. So we'll just kind of keep on going here, digging and just getting all this brush cleaned up. Making my way over to the other side of the pond here. It's starting to take shape once we get everything cleaned up out of it here. I mean, there's just so much brush. It looks like, actually, from what we learned, the previous owners actually ended up letting all the water out with a pump. Uh, that way, they could just leave the property and not have a big, big uh, pond here full of water. Since I think that's probably the safest thing to do here. But you guys can see, I mean, I don't really want to take up too much of the soil just... Uh, just enough here to get it back looking in shape here, but I'm surprised guys this old excavator looks to be running uh, quite well here This is probably 30 plus years old and we have been working with it here for probably the last 25 30 minutes And it's running no problem We're all set here with the ponds here. Wow, that looks awesome. I'm surprised we were able to get that done there. But let's hop in the tractor here, get to mowing uh, this grass and this brush here. Now, I think if we could put some fertilizer down to really help it, we probably don't have to reseed the entire area. But there is areas like this that are a bit patchy that we're going to have to consider there. But for the tractor, guys, let's go check it out. This is what we're going to be running here. It's a Case International 5120 with a uh, brush mower on the back here. I actually rented this from the local farmer. He's charging about $900 a day. So hopefully we only need to use it today and not have to pay another day because we are on a budget trying to make these uh, renovations and improvements to the property here. But this, guys, is really going to transform the look of this property once we're done. It's going to get everything nice and cut and we won't have any brush or any tall grass anymore since. I think it's been probably four or five years since this was really last cut. Running a farm tractor like this, guys, is pretty neat. 
and I am thinking about maybe bringing back a farming series or maybe helping out uh, someone on a farm once or twice every now and then. I think it would be pretty neat as well to get some uh, farming uh, kind of uh, content here on the channel, but an old case like this, guys, was pretty neat. I was looking at maybe buying an attachment, but renting this was just the way to go here. That way, uh, I don't have to buy a machine and we'll only need it for today. What a big difference, guys, it is once we get the brush cut here. So why don't we get going on this side, and I think I'm going to put down the camera here since I'm running low on battery. We've been here at the project all day long, and we're making lots of progress here. Now, next week, or maybe late this week, we'll probably do another video. But until then, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.